Hello guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Injury Time Extra. Yes, we are back. Football is back in India. The new season of the Indian Super League is in full flow. The national team was in action over the weekend. They played China. Well, all of that in our Injury Time episode. But on Extra this time round, Sandeep catches up with Dimash Delgado. Yes, the Spaniard at Bengaluru FC, the man who is the midfield master for the Bengaluru side. Well, Sandeep had quite an interesting time talking to Damas. He says it was one of the interesting interviews that he did of late. Well, what is he talking about? Well, I don't know, just like you, my listener. Well, let's just dive right into it and find out what Sandeep was talking about. So, uh, I just wanted to basically ask you about how you are, how you view football from the midfield. How... How do you see football from the midfield? Ah. Because you are able to control the tempo. How do you do yes. that? No, I, I, really, I really like to play as a, as a midfielder and I really really enjoy because, uh, as, you, as you say, like you are on the middle of the park so you can help your teammates in defence and in attack. So you are always able to do something in, in, during, the, during the game. So just... Uh, uh, I like I like I, I've been playing many many years in in that position, so I think I feel really really comfortable playing playing there and 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 happy because you are you are always uh, on on touch with with the ball or or try to to recover because uh, a lot of things happen in 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 that part of, of the of the field. So so I really I really like playing as a midfielder. You started off as a number nine. I start, yeah. So I start. why the shift to midfield? I don't know. When I think when when everyone starts play football or, or any or any sport, just he he wants to be the 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 important man, no? Like if you are a striker, you you are is, is scoring goals and 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 that's all you all you want, no? Be be a a, a part important in uh, in the game, so I think when when I start, I just want to to score because uh, that was uh, like I really enjoy it, do it do it that. But after after three four years, when when I when I joined uh, Barca, uh, first coach I I, I had uh, he put me a little, little bit uh, uh, back and. And it's when when I start to 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 see how enjoyable it is uh, players I feel I start to 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 watch that players and and see what what they are doing and, and try to learn to to be efficient for for my for my team in, in that position and I think uh, for me was a was a good uh, was a good option and and now I'm. It's a long time I've been midfielder. But uh, so, did it come naturally to you the ability to control the football match to set the tempo and stuff? Yeah, I think uh, after uh, like 10, 12 years playing uh, as, a, as a professional uh, midfielder, I think uh, that long time give you. Uh, uh, Control give you uh, be be quite be comfortable with the ball uh, and and I think uh, that all situations you are you are living all this time that give you also uh, more more options to 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 turn one side turn another side because you are expecting that movements of, of the other players because you are used to to do that or oh, and uh, I think. Um, that's now it's become natural. All my movements because uh, I've been in, in in many troubles in this <laughs> in this uh, part of the of the field and and now I can manage uh, that situations. So do you see the body position and then decide what to do of the opponent? Yeah, for sure. That's one of the the most important things if you are playing as a midfielder. You always have to be in a in a your body shape always has to be. Uh, right, right in right position. Just looking what happened and, and think before you 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 get the ball because you have to 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 decide 
so fast because players are, are come to you so you have to, to think and, and take decisions uh, faster and uh, how do you decide when you're playing a match like when to slow it down or when to uh, like play a long ball or just quicken the pace or push it through the middle so where does that come from well i think uh, during the game uh, same game that demands you uh, different things no? you, i think where I don't know how I explain you now because uh, I think you have to be in the in the field and living what is going on during during the game, and I think uh, that's that's important part of the of the midfield, you know, understand what what's happening during the game, what your team need, and and if you need uh, play long balls because maybe you are in, in hurry, you are losing, or, or just you have to. Uh, make a counter-attack or uh, otherwise if if everyone is in, in, in the position why 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 you have to rush no? mm. I think you have to, to be patient and, and try to move the ball and make them run and, and after that after that position it makes uh, a space and, and then you can you can play you can play through no? because mm. if otherwise if they are in the position that that ball cannot happen one of the big things of Barcelona is the triangle. They play the triangle pass. So why that shape? Why the triangle? Why not somebody something else? Because if, if you are in a triangle, you always are one more. So mm. that's that's the, the main thing and the, the first thing you have to, to understand to, to play. If you want to have the ball, you have to must understand that situation. So everyone has to be uh, in in that positions that make you uh, be one more in every single part of the of the field. And uh, another one that Bangalore FC last year, you we saw them play a kind of a pressing from the second line from the midfield. You saw Parthalu or Lenny go forward ahead of the strikers to press them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what what is the thought behind that? Well, I think uh, that's a, a a part of the coach you know what what they coach decide to the pain of the opponent uh, they decide presaya within uh, some two or, or just someone if, if they are good uh, taking the ball why you have to go to press because they in two three passes mm. they, they they will they will uh, building up so that's in, in that case I think better just wait in, in some two be in shape and, and after that try to to, to be compact and don't give them a space to, to to build up. So that's why I think when when we know the other team is not good with the ball and, and they don't want to, to to build up from behind, I think it's a good good time to to press them high because for sure they, they wanna keep the ball and that's our 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 choice to 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 get the ball back and start to play. But uh, the second line, pressing from midfield mm -hmm. and uh, with or Miku and Chetri, they're behind, but Parthalu or Lenny is ahead of them pressing. Because maybe one one of the midfielders are, are, are going deep to, to have the ball and mm -hmm. just to be one against one. Oh. And uh, the, the obviously now the coach has changed. Carlos has come in as a coach. Uh, is it You've had few training sessions with him. Is it the same or will we be seeing something different? Well, I think everyone has his uh, own ideas, mm -hmm. but more or less, I think the 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 karate that that thing will show will be the same, because they are they are uh, play uh, they are they are uh, work many times together, mm -hmm. and, and they know each other, and, and I think they more or less are thinking on the same way. So for sure, Carlos will will introduce. A few variants, or, or with Car uh, with with Albert, we did different things. But I think the the karate, the spirit, the, the that all th good things the the team has already already had. I think the, it it will show uh, at the same way. And, uh, one of the major things as a midfielder you need is to read the game, what's happening ahead of you in position, off position. Mm -hmm. So as a midfielder, what would you say, if you are going to coach someone, what would you say are the key things to be a good midfielder and to read the game? Well, I think the most important, you have to to be in, in or to have yourself 
something to, to be smart during the game and, and, and just it's one thing you maybe you don't can train in so much no? you have to, to do it or, or have it or not it's like you are a striker you have goal or, or, or you not so I think each position has his uh, particular uh, uh, particular things and, and if you are midfielder and you don't understand properly the game maybe you can uh, improve so much so you can improve uh, physically you can improve tactically and I think many things you can you can improve but that kind of things that that kind of magic you can you cannot improve it so much so you can you can improve when when you are in many situations then you can remember you say oh I remember that if I turn someone is, is coming so I don't turn in this this way I will turn the other way so that thing you you can during the uh, time you can improve but to read or not or, or these things or you or you have this this bond with these attitudes or not yeah. and uh, we see BFC playing a lot of the ball last season especially and then is how much of the movements are actually choreographed that you have trained for and how much comes uh, off the cuff because uh, one of the things that I read, you trained under uh, Pep Guardiola during, uh, in Barcelona. Mm-hmm. One of the things that I read about his coaching was uh, he would, his coaching is to get you to the final third and then from there you have freedom mm-hmm. to express yourself and get the goal. It seemed like a pretty similar uh, system last year as well. Yeah, I think, I think if you want to play the ball and, and, and building up from behind and you must train these things if, otherwise you, you because in, in Spain maybe all the kids are growing up with with that mentality or, or they more or less are playing in a good level and, and they they can understand if if you don't without train so much more or less but even Barca even Bayern Munich even Man City for sure they are building up from behind if not every day many times because it's like I told you so you if you want to build up from behind you have to be confident with the ball you have no panic to play with the keeper the, the keeper has to be ready to play with the other fullback the fullback has to be able to play with the midfielder because he's coming to, to support him the other one has to come so that movement becomes natural after you train many times. If not, it's too difficult. Sticking to Guardiola, who you've trained under, you can see every club that he goes to, especially if you see Manchester City, every single player has improved since he's been there. Hmm. You, you can't say one fellow has not improved or he's at the same level, including Ekio has improved. So how does he do it? How, what does he like a coach as a trainer? I think... All of them are. I, I watch Lazia many times on Man City, and I think they they improve because they are and they play better because they play easy. So that's that's simple. So everyone have in like like you told before, like in our own half, you have to play one two touches and easy. So if you are seen, you 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 make alone, give the ball. Because if you have the ball, you are nothing with the ball. Mm-hmm. You move the ball, the other team is moving. So that's why, see, Man City play really well, and that show everyone is enjoying, and and everyone is confident, and that gives you mm-hmm. everything. Because if you are confident, you you feel good, uh, you want to have the ball, and all these things together, you have to you have to to improve, so no, it's not a way to, to, to do it. So as a footballer, what is the happiest on the field that you are? Like, what do you, what gives you most happiness while on the field? Playing. Mm-hmm. Playing, uh, I had many many good memories, but I think the the best memory I have is when when I when when my debut in in La Liga. I think 
that moment to to play that's when when you your dream come come true and and you are playing in the in the best league on the world so that's all you 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 are dreaming since since you born and and if you love football that's the, the the main thing you can you can achieve but enjoying playing the football i have lucky and, and i enjoy many 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 games playing football what actions like is it giving an assist or finding a through ball scoring goals just playing so just playing. yeah just play play the game because sometimes just it's not just about make a good assist or, or score a goal if you doing 90 minutes you are enjoy mm-hmm. playing football so that's that's awesome like you said uh, the stars are always the strikers like who scores the goals and stuff but uh, after the last 10 years 15 years we've really come to appreciate midfielders especially once you're playing in your position slightly withdrawn slightly away from goal but keeping everything ticking mm-hmm. we become we've come to appreciate that kind of players i think we start we start appreciate when spain hmm come uh, busquets world world uh, champions or, or the world cup because they they know all the also in in, in barca when when we chat in istanbul kids the people understand that that three are the important players for the team it's not just score a goal or because they control the game since the beginning till the end so that's matter if they score or they make a pass through so i think that the people be be conscious like if you have good two three midfielders and and they are the best or are being the best on on the world so that give you like show like barcelona was best team in the world in spain finally we we came like the world champion like even you were in barcelona B, did you play with uh, busquets and pedro and mm-hmm. uh, tiago yeah, bojan st- yeah do you still keep in touch with any of them yeah uh, when when we went in in, in barcelona that in precision uh, i tried to to meet him but uh, he uh, next day uh, next day will will play the gamper mm-hmm. so he can he got train in the morning and he he go home quickly but yeah we are we are in touch and when and when when his kids born i text him when when my daughter uh born she uh, he he text me so so we are we are friends we we are not in touch every day but we know when when we need something we we are there and how difficult was it to even think of breaking into that barcelona team that that team was probably the greatest team in history one of the greatest team in history mm-hmm. when you were coming through and busquets came through and uh, pedro came pedro replaced andre i think at that time mm-hmm. so how difficult was that to can the the level of football in that club was just unbelievable at that time yes i think um uh, yeah that that's why uh not room for for every mm. good player in in, in barca vi because in that moment that that squad was was one of the the best of the the history so that's why i i i have to leave and and but i really grateful for for all the the stuff i've been i have in 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 barca so i learn a lot of good things and i have really good memories but when one has to be also mm, uh, clear with with himself as say look it's impossible now because it's not about the coaches you don't like him and and he then take you to, to the first team is just one one question about be be clear and say look it's, it's not not my time to to be on on that because they they are the best of the world so but it's true and after after that uh, next season busquets start with the b and pedro start with the b and many players they start with the b but guardiola believe in them and and as soon as the first team start the season well so it was very easy just put one player because it's not mm. because they are really good players but if you put a good player in, in the best play, with, with the best players of the world you can't go to the player that that's not yeah. no doubt 
and his team beat that Barcelona side that year. Yeah, you you played against them. Mm-hmm. I think Guardiola's yes. early match, Nemanja. Yeah, yeah. We were at the bench. We, in yeah, match. we beat just they lost one game mm-hmm. and was in Soria. Yeah. How did that feel for you? We were sitting at the opposite end. Was good. I've been also that that day. I've been uh, in the um, the hotel where mm-hmm. they where they were. Mm-hmm. I I've been talking with them and and yeah. Also, Guardiola was a little bit nervous because it was his debut in, in, in La Liga as a coach, and and he told me well, we we were talking about uh, everything because he knows my my wife and we spend time together and just we we were like a like a friends and and just talking about it's not just about, just about football about life and but they come and and yeah that happened. In football, you can you can beat the best team in the world, and and that that was it was. They yeah. won the treble that year. No? They won, yeah, they won the treble. Yes, yes. Yeah. And and treble. after that, they they don't lose. No, they lost. They draw at home. And they won. and they, and they uh, people start to 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 speak about if Guardiola was the man to and look after. But I think Johan Cruyff took his side, and that was a huge help for Guardiola. I read that in Iniesta's book. Yes. Yeah, the Iniesta and Xavi and yeah, yeah. Cruyff was on his side. That that's true. So and and in that moment, Xavi, Busquets, uh, Iniesta, all these players uh, believe in him so much, and they have power in, in this yeah. in this squad. So how how does that translate? Now you are a senior player in uh, Bangalore Football Club. Uh, Sunil is another one who's been here for a long time. Uh, you and I also, I think, is quite vocal as a leader and stuff. So, how much power does the players carry in the locker room? I think uh, Sunil win win this uh, this power because he he show a lot of things and and he did a lot of things for for this country and all the kids just want to be like like him. So it's really easy uh, follow him and and is is our leader. There's no doubt about about that. And but when when I came, I don't want to be a, a leader. I don't want to be. So I just came with with a clear idea that just to to help this club to to get better. Uh, and thank God, the the things well we've we been been well and and I really enjoy last season. Uh, and this season, I think I have. Uh, a little bit more, more, more support for for the boys, and they also believe in me, and and I'm really happy, really happy because I'm here to to help, and and all uh, was in in my hand. I will I will give them. So, so happy to be here, and hopefully we can we can enjoy this season like last year, and and finally get the trophy. Sunil. Uh is now in 33 34 mm-hmm. and uh, he's playing some of the best football that he's ever played at this age uh, what a lot of people don't realize is the amount of work that he puts in behind mm-hmm. to be at that level at this, uh, this stage of his career that's that hard work has to rub off on the younger ones yeah, yeah and and he show every every day uh, in training so he's the the first always in 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 do the exercise, he's the first always in 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 be ready to to train. So I think he's a, a a good mirror where all the young players, all the country, all the boys have to become football players. Have to have to look because he's a he's a really good good guy. He's a unbelievable professional and he's doing his best to 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 keep uh, doing all the things to to make this country bigger. Like, last year, uh, ISL final, obviously, not a very happy memory for you. Because we saw the reaction after the semi-final, because Sunil is someone who doesn't really celebrate his goals uh, that much. We saw him jump over the barricade and run to the fans mm-hmm. when he finished his hat-trick. Uh, to get to the semi- ISL final was, I think, the biggest drive for this club last year because the final was at home. What was it like after the final was over? I think 
in in the semifinals, everyone was excited because uh, we know how important it is uh, be a champion in in the SL. So it was our first year. So everything was amazing, and 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 we we had very very close, no. And but of course it's a it's a really disappointing because uh, we start we start winning we start really well the the game but in two actions in two set pieces we 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 lost the the game so just that show how important is also uh, set pieces it's not just about play well or if, if you lose your your your, uh, your focus in in one second you know you have punish so on about all these, these, these things we have to to learn we have to grow and and like I told you so we are uh, really excited for for this season ahead and and we we decide with with all our hungry just be again in, in, the, in another final and 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 try to win those two set piece goals that had to have hurt because they scored set piece before against you uh, when they played in Kan- the league phase mm-hmm. and i'm sure uh, carles and uh, at that time uh, roca as well were all very they worked very hard on set pieces mm-hmm. that to concede in a set piece must have been really uh, upsetting yes so it was for everyone because we know uh, that is important just it's not just here so in in football so all the games are really close and one small detail can can change no and and give you three points or or, or lose and uh, carlas uh, worked really hard last last season and with albert and and we are in the same in the same way this this season so we don't want to uh, give uh, nothing uh, in set pieces because we are losing concentration we are losing so if they can beat us it's because the 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 i show are, are better knowing in in our own mistakes so that's one of the i think important important things we have to to, to put it in our mind this this season is not don't consider nothing stupid so if if they can can, so the can win us is you have to beat us yes we will not get beat exactly us. yeah okay that's what you're going for this year mm-hmm. okay. uh, uh, switching to a little bit more lighter topics you are obviously a Barcelona fan uh, you and I think played for Real Madrid uh, under youth team level so uh, during <laughs> during the El Clasico Mm-hmm. What is the mood like? Chetri is also a Barcelona fan. Yes. Yeah. No, I think so. That game, so I'm I'm from Barcelona. I like follow Barca, but I'm not a crazy supporter Barca. So I like football and I I like watch the Barca because they play really well. But when I remember when that that period when Madrid has Sidan. Uh, Beckham, I really like watch Real Madrid. Really like because I like football. I like when when one team is playing well. For example, uh, the other day I watch uh, Betis Sevilla. Oh yeah, yeah. And Betis is playing really good football. Key. Yeah. It's, re- it's really good football. They had a clear idea. They they are not in panic so they, they are not scared to play so they are just to play and, and they making troubles Sevilla so and so with with us I mean I like football, I like the teams are playing with football and it doesn't matter. Now is a is a time for because Bar- Barça is playing a good football and happy because uh, I'm I'm I support them. But if one game is a, a good football. I like. I like watch. You you know Hawking. Yes, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. He is a character, isn't he? Yeah, he's a really funny man. No, nah, really fun, really fun. He's I, got that reputation also. It's larger than life in uh, Spain. As a as a big character in Spain. Yeah, yeah, no, no. He's because he's a, a he's always smiling. He's he transmit 
uh, happiness. So everyone's love it. Everyone loves him because he's, he has a, an opportunity to, when, when he was young, go to Madrid and mm -hmm. in Sevilla they, they love him because he didn't move and at the end he moved to Valencia but he went crying and so mm -hmm. everyone everyone loved him. Him and Vicente. Vincent, uh, yeah, Vicente. And they had David Villa friend. David Villa friend, yeah. Silva also was, mm -hmm. was there. Mata. Mata. Mm -hmm. Baraja. Rubén Baraja, yeah. And, like, uh, you played in Segunda as well? Yeah, in, in Segunda, uh, like, uh, cinco, six, seven years in Segunda. So what is the difference? Whenever I ask people about Segunda La Liga, they say Segunda is harder. It's, it's harder because it's really equalized. So yeah. everyone can beat you. You can beat anyone. Doesn't matter if they are at the top or they are in the bottom. So doesn't matter. You can win or lose every weekend. And that's that there also is really important the set pieces and all this because they, they punish you if you are losing one second the concentration hmm. they punish you and the difference for me the the big difference playing in in la liga or, or second second deep second second division is the the quality of the players so in segunda we have a lot of good players really good players but if you make a mistake in La Liga, you you must pay. So in Segunda, you make a mistake, maybe they can score, not mm. the keeper safe. In La Liga, if you make a mistake, you you will lose the, the game. So how, how sure. do you come out of this? I'm sure during your career you've made mistakes. So mentally, yeah, how sure. do you... Because immediately the touch happens and then you have to continue to play. And you can't yeah. have to forget so, it. No, for sure. It's not. Otherwise, you are thinking in, in that mistake and many more come. So everyone uh, commit the mistakes. We are humans so that no one is, is perfect and but you have to to be conscious when you can take risk or not. So that's also a, a, a smart play if, if you are taking risk as a centre back mm. it's not make sense. <laughs> So, yeah, then you went to uh, Australia, then now you're in India, so how has the different countries been for you in terms of playing and in terms of living? And <coughs> well, in, in Sydney we were and we had really good time because it's a really good country and good life, uh, but uh, I think the big difference uh, it's not about life or, or football. Big difference is uh, that players are really physical, so they they have a really high uh, rhythm of the game. So you have to be, and they take care all, all, about all this, all this, all this thing because they know uh, if you are not fit, you you cannot compete. So. For me, it's one of the best countries doing uh, coaching uh, condition. They they had also a lot of uh, a lot of things and, and and I don't know how to say a lot of uh, like GPS, mm -hmm. like a lot of uh, sport technology. Yes, sport, sport science are the best. Amazing. So because I think they are in uh, Australian football, that that game they are playing mm. are machines. So they, they can run like 15 cars, everyone. Mm. So they are they are athletes. They are really really athletes, and they take care about food. They they are professionals, and 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 they know if they are not 100 percent, they cannot play. And that's the one of the big biggest difference in because they. All of them are taking care about about themselves, and they train as a crazy. They they train a lot. They run precision. This run is our team was one of the 
m one of the team who has most the ball, but the other teams is just run, 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 fight, 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 run, run, and that's I think the the, the big difference. And India, how do you see Indian football? Indian football, I think, is uh, is improving. They they're improving that since ISL starts. I think they are year after year they are they are they are doing best things. They are bringing in every club better coaches and and uh, also for the academies they are start to take care about about the kids about. Um, Promotion the football in, in 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 the country and I think it's is is good if, if you want to grow up in in any aspect of, of the life you have to start with the with the kids if not you cannot so because they kids that kids when when they grow when they are doing the right things 10 15 years after that you you, you become better so it's not no no question so I think. Now they are they are understand this. It's not just spend money in in, in Del Piero or spend money in 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 one start. It's just put money in in the base, and after mm -hmm. few years you will you will you will have a a, a good players. You've had some good matches here in in the in the ISL. Mm -hmm. Who is the best player that you played against in India? Against. Indian, Indian and foreigner. You can say one of each. Mm. Against Sunil in trainings. No, it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> not Bangalore, not BSC players. Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know. Who, who the team list came up and who you looked and thought, okay, this is going to be a tough game today. But. So because I think it's a it's a a group of that that team. So if you are playing against Chennai last season, you know they will be tough mm -hmm. because they are powerful. They physically they are they are strong. They don't want the ball, but they don't need. So they they are taking advantage of that that things like the pieces or the ball. Or, and you know, if you go against Goa last mm. season, you know you have to run because they also want to have the ball. You have to try to recover as soon as possible because if if you have the ball and they don't have the ball, they will suffer. So I think everything has his own uh, weapons, and, and and I think it's most about top the teams about it's not one player or no. Even for me, you can say one player. Okay, in your career. The best player you played against? Indian? In your career. In your career. In my career? Yeah. Best you played against? Messi? That's is, is easy. Easy, yeah. <laughs> Who's the next one? <laughs> no, but here, I don't know. Indian... Not Indian, just anywhere. Uh, for me, I like a lot Emana. Emana so in, the... in La Liga was unbelievable. Basque. This season he has problems in, in his knee, mm. and he can show what all all he has. But he's a really good player. But it's a different choice. Normally they say he's a bigger player like Busquets or Rakitic or whoever. But Imana is a it's an it's interesting in, in the Indian Super League. Say. Indian Super League, yeah. In Indian Super League. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, in 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 Spain, you say? Yeah, everywhere in your country. Ah. Uh, Games, so, so many games, so many play, good players. I don't know, just one against Cristiano, I didn't play. So, yeah. Did you play against Raul, maybe? Raul? Raul. He runs a lot, no? He runs, and, and for me, the best thing he has is so smart. He's intelligent player, yeah. He's, so, because he's not fast, he wasn't uh, technically a superstar, he wasn't tall like wood he wasn't wasn't nothing but was superstar so, so that, that show you how smart is that guy do you value players who are intelligent than talented because 
if you are intelligent, you can you can su- supply other things. Yeah. So if you, if you are not the fittest player, but you are smart, you can compete. If you are not if, not, is, you, are, if, you, if you are not intelligent, uh, you are not fit. You cannot compete. So that that's different. So smart players can supply the 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 weak uh, points. Now, what is what do you do to relax? For relax, yeah, especially after matches, because I spoke to Eric uh, a few months ago, and he said after leaving the stadium with the fans and the buzz that he mm-hmm. can't sleep till three o'clock, and then he tries to calm himself down with a shower and a few other things. What do you do to unwind? After the games. After the games. After the games, just I try to calm down, uh, go home, uh, uh, just put, put music a little bit or watch some some game or if it's late, just have dinner, be, be relaxed and and try to sleep because it's, it's, it's true, it's not easy when when you are after play you are excited you are and it's not easy uh, sleep but I think uh, just go home uh, if you can go with friends uh, better because you can, if you are winning overall you, you can enjoy and, but just go home and, and just chill there I don't know Maybe one beer. Or mm-hmm. So yes. After after d- during a game, like you have fans shouting a name. If you're, you're at home, if you're away, you have people screaming against you. How does that affect a player on the field? Does it really affect you, or do are you, do you just zone out? I can uh, hear them when yes, when just when, when we start to to warm up. Mm-hmm. When we start the warm up, yes, and also even is. Amazing! No go, go, go to the pitch and and see your fans, uh, shout your name and support the team and that's amazing. But in my case, when 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 the whistle uh, is blowed, so I I I can't hear so much because I'm concentrate and and I'm more more focused in what. One teammate can 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 say to me, or or, or I, if I have to, to say something to to want to help him, or just more focused in the on the game and and not worried about what what happened in the stands. So we'll end this with this question. I've covered BFC since the first season. The first season they had a midfielder called Menyonger, John Menyonger, who stayed here for one season on the title. Uh, then they had a few other foreign signings also. And the next best midfielder that I saw was uh, Rubio Alvaro. Mm-hmm. And now he was not even there for the season. No, he no. was just there for a Mexico, few months. No? Yeah. yeah. And then there's you, who's, uh, who's finished the season, who's going into his second. Do you have any uh, ambition to end up as the best foreign midfielder that BFC has signed? Because I personally, I think that is very, very achievable. For mm-hmm. you. Like you win the title and I think that's it. I never, to be honest, I never think on on that. So now will you think about it now that I said? <laughs> no, no, it's not my 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 idea. Just be worried about if if I'm or not best midfielder uh, has been in BFC because I think if you are worried just about about that, you are forget what you are doing here. So I'm here to play football. I'm here to help my teammates. I'm here to enjoy. And if all these things happen, he'll win. I will. He'll win titles also if all of these I will more, more closer than 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 I this. Well, guys, that was Dimas Delgado sharing his story with us on Injury Time Extra. Well, I hope you all enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Let me just say that all the stories of his time in Barcelona taking on Barcelona during his time in Numancia. What a great man. What a great story that. Well, you can always write to us and tell us what you felt about the show on our Twitter handle, Injury Time IND. And you can like and follow us on Facebook. Our Facebook page goes facebook.com slash Injury Time IND. 
Well, until we bring you the next episode of Injury Time and of Injury Time Extra in a few weeks from now, have a great time and enjoy the game.